Hello everyone, I am Lakmini Herat. I am going to present my research on optimized transfer learning for autism spectrum disorder classification with neuroimaging, a comparative study. These are the other authors who contributed to this study. Dulani Medhaniya from Department of Computer Science and Engineering, University of Moratua. Dr. Mara Singer from Department of Radiography, Faculty of Allied Health Science, University of Peradeniya. Professor Vajiravira Singer from Department of Psychology, Faculty of Medicine, University of Peradeniya. Let's move on to the introduction section. Machine learning. Machine learning approaches are used extensively in medical applications because it has an interesting capability for extracting valuable information from medical data set. But uh, it has some issues. One is uh, unavailability of sufficient databases. Another issue comes with uh, future engineering process. That is, feature extraction and selection are time consuming as well as it needs some expert knowledge. To overcome these issues, deep learning is introduced. So this deep learning extracts the prominent features from the raw input data automatically. But still the deep learning also has some problems in medical imaging and one is the small sample size of medical images. So due to that deep learning models are suffer from overfitting. So these overfitting models memorize the noise and fits too closely to the training set so the result model unable to generalize well to new data. So to overcome that, transfer learning was introduced. Problem statement. This study mainly addressed the problem of identifying the applicability and performance of different transfer learning methods in the medical image domain. So the main aim of this study to identify the optimum hyperparameter combination of Inception V3 model based transfer learning for ASD diagnosis support using ABDE data set with fMRI data. So this research is mainly about autism spectrum disorder. Autism is common uh, multifactorial neurological disorder that affects the development of brain with numerous disabilities. So it prevails throughout the entire lifetime of a person and begins in early childhood and continues to adulthood. So currently there is no specific cure and no specific and objective medical test to diagnose ASD. So this current clinical practice is typically based on behavior analysis. So ASD can be controlled by starting the treatment early as possible. So the most commonly available ASD symptoms are lack of eye contact, speech and communication difficulties, issues in social interactions. Different brain regions are responsible for occurring these uh, symptoms. So these symptoms can be monitored as functional activities using brain imaging techniques like fMRI. So as I have explained earlier, this study mainly focuses on deep learning and transfer learning. So this transfer learning is the reuse of knowledge and learn from one problem to another different but related problem. So basically in transfer learning, the network is trained using large data set including various images which are belong to different categories. Then the pre-trained model customized by substituting the output layer of the model with the new layers to produ produce the desired output for the new problem. After that, the pre-trained can be gradually fine-tuned by unfreezing the layers with specific set of images. So this fine-tuning depends on the size of the data set and the type of the domain. So another important factor of training a convolutional neural network is hyperparameter tuning. So it minimizes the loss function and that helps to find the best values of the hyperparameters to achieve the optimal performance of a given data set in a comparatively lesser period. So these hyperparameters state the architecture of the model and directly control the nature of the training algorithms with the significant effect of the performance. So let's move on to the methodology. 
Here we have used two publicly available databases, ABDE1 and 2. The ABDE1 consists of 17 different image sites and ABDE2 with 19 different image sites. For this study, I have choose only one uh, image site that is KKI. From that, I have selected sample group of age between 0 to 12 years. So this is the overall workflow of the proposed method. First, the 4D fMRI images were transformed to 2D EPI images. This transformation done by selecting random slices from each volume in three different axes, the sagittal, coronal and axial. Then the convolutional neural network was trained with transfer learning with hyperparameter tuning and the results were evaluated considering the accuracy only. For further, the training data set was artificially increased by using data augmentation. Transfer learning settings with convolutional neural network. Inception V3 model which is trained on ImageNet data set is widely applied in medical transfer learning applications. So this model has lesser number of parameters and generally provides high accuracy compared with other models like VGG16 and ResNet. So I selected the Inception V3 model as my pre-trained model. Then the output layers of Inception V3 model was adapted accordingly to classify AST from controls by combining global average pooling layers, dropout layers, dense layers and flattened layers. Then the convolutional neural network was trained uh, in four different modes. So Proposed a deep learning neural network model was trained with ImageNet weights in four different modes. In mode 1, freeze the convolutional base of inception V3 and train the top layers. Then in mode 2, freeze the convolutional layers up to layer 249 and train the other layers including top layer. Then in mode 3, freeze the convolutional layers up to layer 64 and train the other layers including top 4 top layers. So in mod 4, train the model from scratch. So this table shows the parameters used to predict all the possible combinations of hyper model evaluation. This graph illustrates the accuracy value for different mods with various learning rates and approaches using Adam optimizer in sagittal, coronal and axial directions. So fine tuning starts from mod 1 and gradually changes by unfreezing layers step by step up to mod 4. So overall uh, it is visible that when unfreezing more layers the network uh, classifies ASD from controls with higher accuracy. And this is true for SGT optimizer also. So this figure demonstrates the comparison between ADAM and SGD optimizer in circuital view regarding their performance. So it is clearly shown that ADAM optimizer with learning rate 0.0001 gives better performance in mod 4 than SGD optimizer. In contrast, the SGD optimizer has achieved the best performance with learning rate 0.001 in mod 3. For both ADAM and SGD optimizers, the maximum ASD identification accuracy value is 98.65. This uh, table shows the average accuracy value of both optimizers in three directions. The values indicate that the ADAM and SGD optimizer provides a maximum average accuracy value of 98.38% and 98.06%. So this table shows the comparisons related to other studies. Most of the studies gives the maximum accuracy values using ADAM optimizer. Discussion. So the transforming a pre-trained model to a different domain like medical imaging, the weights needed to be adjusted accordingly with respect to the new domain. So the selection of best combination of hyperparameters in transfer learning is a challenging task and which is directly affects the accuracy. So this study shows the benefits of sequential fine tuning 
and a single optimizer cannot outperform all situations because the performance is varied of the mod of the transfer learning, learning rate, number of epochs and the type of the images used. The study investigate the performance of the transfer learning based ASD classification using various hyperparameter combinations. So the study strengthened the importance of choosing the most appropriate transfer learning mod and the hyperparameter combination for best performance for different target domains. So the future directions, it is needed to be investigated with the other optimization algorithms to find the most appropriate optimizer. And it is needed to investigate and check whether this combination is suitable for any data set that is available in the ABDI1 and ABDI2 data set. Thank you.